Jackson He's a furry little fat foot Who'll never flinch from a fray Monday, 7th grade girls played against Stewartsville. Savannah girls had the lead in the very beginning, but then Stewartsville caught up. We had a close game, we had a lot of fast breaks, and we played really good defense. Overall, the 7th grade girls did an amazing job Monday night. Our team played good and we had a lot of shots and we worked on passing. The ending score was 10 to 18. Hey. I'm Lexi Riggs. I'm Katie Henson. And we're, and we're signing, signing off. off. Tanner, I feel like since you lost your phone, you've been really down. I think we need a secret mission to get your phone back. Okay. Everything you need is right in here. She didn't tell me the code. Oh, hey, Tanner. Did you get your phone back? What's the C O D E? Oh, the code. Oh, 328. Well, thanks, Miss Stevie. Needed was right here the whole time. My phone! On Saturday, December 3rd, Turning Point Dance Academy had their holiday Christmas recital here at SMS. I think I did really good in the Christmas recital. Um, I had a lot of fun. Many students at SMS danced in or attended the show. I think the dance recital went really well because a lot of people showed up and all of the girls did great. I think I did good at the recital because I worked really hard and yeah. The recital was used as an entertainment show for the community. It was also a fundraiser for their competition team. Reporting for SWR News, I'm Hadwin Snipes and I'm Katie Campbell signing off.
I'm addicted to eating ramen noodles. I don't even know what my problem is. I just have to eat them. This summer, Seren brought a package of ramen noodles just so she could eat them when she stayed the night. I have this whole routine in everything. So I take my ramen noodles and I open them up and I split them in half and put one half in the bowl and then put the other half on top of it. Then I put water in it from the refrigerator. Now I put it in the microwave for four minutes. Then you're going to want to take it out of the microwave and flip it over. And then you're going to put it back in the microwave for another four minutes. And if it starts bubbling over, then you can take it out of the microwave or wait till the four minutes is up. Now add some ice and stir it together and add your seasoning and you have yourself some good ramen noodles. I don't even know what's wrong with her. She won't eat my spaghetti, my lasagna, or even my tacos. Sometimes she, I can hear her talking to them like they're her best friends, like, like if they're Macy or something. I don't know. I have so much. There's not even any room in our cabinets anymore. I don't know where to put it all. When I went to Seren's house, I asked her if she had anything to eat, and she just got out packages and packages of Roma noodles. I don't see when any of that session gets better. Yeah, me too. I don't know what her problem is. Next Friday, December 16th, Gold Key and Yearbook will be joining together to host the Winter Festival. The Winter Festival will be at SMS from 7.30 to 10, and any student of SMS is able to come. Mackenzie Reed, the president of Gold Key, said, you should be there. The Winter Fall Festival is going to be a big fun event where you'll come, play games, you can eat snacks, meet with your friends. There's going to be gingerbread house building, and it's going to be really fun. You should all come. Mrs. Deeby said the Winter Festival is a good opportunity to hang out with your friends after school. So it gives students the opportunity to come back to school because it starts at 7.30 next Friday the 16th. And so come back to school and hang out with their friends, but not so much of the dance part of it, but more of just like a fun hangout. Reporting live from the SWR studios in Savannah, Missouri, I'm Zach Vega. And I'm Tommy Neinstead. Have a great night. I wonder what it'd be like if someone with tiny hands got unwound. Huh, that'd be weird. There have been peculiar crimes being committed throughout SMS. Our only evidence? Tiny fingerprints. We've called in our best two agents to crack the case.
Attention, the tiny hand bandit has been caught. Dun dun dun! Mrs. Saxon's third and fifth hour advanced computers classes are learning how to code Spiro Balls. A Spiro Ball is a robotic ball that you can code and control with your smartphone. They are also making obstacle courses to drive the Spiro Balls through. Gage Salisbury, an eighth grader, said if you're interested in coding, you should take the class. Um, I think this class is really fun and I think it's a good chance for kids to learn about programming. Mrs. Saxton, the teacher of advanced computers said they are coding them to go through the obstacle course. I um, have been programming our Spiros for quite a while now and um, have learned the ins and outs of them and the coding program. So now we are working in Lightning Lab to program them through the obstacle courses that they, the kids have built. So if you want to explore technology and learn how to code Spiro balls, you should definitely be in this class. This has been Zach Vega reporting for SWR. Hey Elena, have you ever got one of those commercials stuck in your head? Yeah, why? Because now it's going to get worse. We got students from each grade to sing their favorite catchy commercial. Dramatically. You don't have to be lonely at BarbaraLonely.com. City folks just don't get it. Oh, 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 O'Reilly! O'Reilly votes votes! The meaning of dance to me is expressing your personality, expressing your feelings, expressing what you like to do, and doing what you like to do. What inspired me to dance is my grandmother when she died. And when I was younger, like about eight, I was just dancing around her house. And as I turned nine, as I got older, I got more events. And then one day I was at my grandmother's house dancing in her mirror and she told me she should go down I should go down the street and sign up, sign up at American Dance Theater. Um, my favorite gymnastics move is a, um, a back handspring back pike. Reporting for SWR, I'm Bryson Rez. I'm Brett Lynch. And, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off. Hello, I'm Dakota Griffin. And we're here back with another episode of Between Two Boxes with Ashton Kincaid. How does it feel to be the worst football player on your team? Well, that's the thing. I'm really not the worst player on the team. Hey, now, you listen here. This is my show, and you answer my questions correctly. So what's your mile time? Well, I usually collapse after the first 20 meters, so... That's better than what I thought it was. I thought it was 10 meters. Thank you, Ashton, for joining us today. Well, it was a pleasure. Hi, it's Tanner Nielsen, and this is Ken Proctor. So, Ken Proctor, how does it feel to be the worst person on the entire basketball team? Well, Tanner, that's a good question. But how does it feel to get your phone taken away? I don't know, but at least I had friends to talk to on my phone. <laughs> I strongly dislike you now! And this has been another episode of Between Two Boxes. Thank you, Ken Parcher, for joining us. We're back with another episode of Between Two Boxes, and I'm here with Maddie Oswala Zaka. That's not how you say it. Oh, how's it pronounced? Ozaka. I mean, Maddie Ozaka. Now, Maddie, why are you a bandwagoner? What do you mean?
This is my favorite shirt. My point exactly. So, why do you also like the Capitals? Because the players are hot. Okay, and, um, well, that's this week's episode of Between Two Boxes. Thank you. SMS's band, mixed chorus, and show choir had their winter concert Tuesday in the gym. The band performed three pieces each and has been working hard on these since the end of October. The band was conducted by Miss Prather and Mr. Wheeler, the band teachers here at SMS. What I like about the concert is the song Sledding Hill and Dressing Up Nice. Uh, what I like about the concert is the song that I think. Our band and choir concert is going to go well because we've practiced really hard and we sound good. What I liked most about my band performance was we got to play with like the whole band and it sounded really cool because like we'd never played with, with the percussion except for two times which were those days and it sounded so good and I just, I just really liked playing with the whole band. We are very excited for the bands to be performing. The 7th grade band will perform and then the choirs will sing and we will have the 8th grade band performing and each group will be doing three pieces of music and we've been working on this music since the end of October so we're excited for you to hear it. The show choir and mixed chorus also performed during this concert. The mixed chorus performed Carol of the Bells and a Christmas song. The show choir performed Grown Up Christmas List and danced to For We Need a Little Christmas. Part about the concert was when the show choir performed their song for We Need a Little Christmas with their choreography and I think I personally did best with my facial expressions. Uh, I really liked Carol the Bells. I'm Mackenzie Reed reporting for SWR and I'm signing off. Women swoon whenever they hear him sing.